Trouble by uh, Ray LaMontagne. Nice song for G, C and D. This is just one of those proofs that if you can play G, C and D, you pretty much play almost any pop song ever known. Uh, this has got, uh, let's just give you those chords, because it's, it's, it's going to be a one type of song. So um, it's got a handful of chords in it, but no worries. Okay, now here's the G that I like, okay? I happen to like this G. This is a bar G, just in case. And I'm going to show you all three Gs just so that you've got it. That's an actual proper open G just there, okay? In case somebody says, oh, you're playing it wrong. No, uh, but that's the easiest G to play, especially if you're going to do suspensions, okay? So G and then D. C. And there's an A minor. See, A minor, there's actually a B minor as well. Let me show you B minor. Okay. It's a, uh, also a bar chord. Okay. Bar chord because you're using finger number one to go straight across and make a bar across. This is fret number two. And finger number two in B on the B string, third fret. Finger number three on the D string, fourth fret. And finger number four on the G string, fourth fret. Okay, so. Okay, you've got to get used to your bar chords. It's a bit, if you've never done them before, it starts to give you a bit of a pain in your wrist because you haven't used those muscles this way before. So get used to it. Okay, make sure you're not, make, make sure it's not like that. Make sure the strings are actually ringing. A cheap guitar, a hundred dollar guitar, that where the action, which means the strings are a little bit higher than the fretboard, is going to be somewhat more difficult to play, the bar chords especially. Okay, so you could have your guitar adjusted so that it could, your action is low, just to make it easier to play. Okay, so uh, just give you those little details in there for that. So there's B, and then the B minor. Then there's, uh, we're going to use an F, but we're, on this song we're going to use F major. So, let me show you what that's at. This is, uh, here's F major. First finger, B string, first fret. Second finger, G string, second fret. Third finger, D string, third fret. And because we're going to go from F major back to C. Sounds difficult, but we're going to use two different C's to make it easier. Here is a full open C. Alright, now here's a semi open C. You're just using these fingers one, three, one, two, and three. And one, two, and three, finger number two now on the D string, second fret, number three, finger number three on the A string, third fret. So to go from F major, fingers number two and three just come down one string each. F major, C, F major, C, F major, C. Which is easier than, here's full C here, and then F major, and back to full C. I mean, both of those are relatively easy if you've been playing for wall, but, you know, but. Going between F, between C, F, and C, you want to keep your first finger anchored down so that just those two can make that make that move. So I hope I'm not making this sound more difficult than it actually is. It's pretty simple. Just just go with it. It's practically simple. So let's have a look. Let's look at this strum because uh, Ray LaMontagne and his bloody strums. Um, okay, he's going. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 right? Down, down, up, down, 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 right? So, G, just, just try it with G. Now, we're going to go 
go alternate between G, C, G, D. Great exercise for somebody who's brand new. I'd give this song about a 1.5 for some of the strumming bits in it. So it is relatively easy. It could be done. It could be broken down. Really simple. So let's just have a look at the verses because they, they do repeat themselves. So it's great. It's great in that respect. It makes it easy. The intro. Let's go. Let me just show you the intro and then I'm going to show you the verse. Then I'm going to show you the choruses. So let's look at that intro. Can we do three of these? G, C, G, D. Just like we just did. G, C, G, D, G, C, G, D, G, C, G, D. And the verses, he reverses it. He goes G, D first, and then G, C. We hold the notes just an extra measure. And so don't let that spook you either. So let's just show you what that means. Let's go G, D, and then G, C. G, D, G, C, G, D, and C. C, and G, D. Remember in the intro, it was very fast. G, C. Um, the verses were holding it one extra measure. Okay, so let's have a look at that one more time because it just does that same thing twice. Each verse does that, it repeats itself. So let's have a look. G So you can run that back if you like. And don't forget to cut and paste the lyrics out from down below so uh, you can follow along. It's a little easier maybe if you print it out in front of you. Okay, uh, so it does that twice. We've got once with trouble and once with worry. Okay, and then it's um, I've been saved by a woman. That's a bit of a chorus. And it's just G, C, and then the F, C, like we discussed before with that F major. I've been G. Does that three times, so we, we, we know what that is now. No worries with that. And then it's A minor and D. She won't A minor be gone. She won't be. She won't A minor. She won't D. Then the intro. fast for you but it just it's repeating itself from before okay and again there's another verse then there's the chorus I've been saved a woman won't let me go won't let me go then there's these whoa bits okay so this is where the, he starts to change the rhythm slightly so let's just have a look at that uh, C B minor A minor and G once and then it's just C B minor, A minor, and then we'll tell you what goes after that. So just those three. So, so C, B minor, A minor, and G. C, B minor, A minor. And then just G and C. She gave me good to me now. Notice that? J, 
Just G and C. And that's the whole ending in with lyrics, okay? You give me exercise at the end but that's the whole ending there so no worries with that see G and C G and C so it's a nice little exercise and I hope I wasn't going over some of those bits too fast but they are actually quite easy and uh, just try to play them a little bit slower But uh, other than that, you can make this song really happen. It's about a, let's call it about a one and a half, um, just because of some of the changes. It may not be for the absolute beginner, but it, it's a pretty, um, really easy song. Any song, mostly G, C, and D. And besides the verses and choruses that repeat themselves, like any standard pop song, um, if you're familiar with the song, you should be playing the song within, um, within a half an hour to an hour, no worries. So have fun with trouble. Shouldn't have any trouble with it. See ya.